We are requesting the assistance from the public to identify persons of interest as we investigate the violence and property damage associated with the violent clash that took place in the city's northeast on Saturday, September 2nd. Since then, we have worked with the parties involved to prevent any further escalation, retaliation, and created an investigative task force that has now allowed us to identify individuals we believe to be involved. Our investigation relies on the support of the community to help identify persons of interest. A number of those involved have already been identified and as a result of the community support, support we've received, we've created a web page that includes photos of 16 additional persons of interest who we believe to have some involvement of, in that capacity of such. We want to speak with them to further our investigation. As police, we remain neutral politically. We police behavior, not beliefs. As a testament to that, it's important to note that the individuals of the in images we're releasing today contain photos of individuals we believe on both sides of the conflict. We want Calgarians to know that this behavior is not tolerated in our fine city. These actions were not condoned by community leaders or the greater community, but the reckless actions of a small group of people that wanted to incite violence. If you're involved in this in any way, you need to now come forward and speak to police. We thank the members of the community who have already come forward and are participating with our investigation. And as we further in the, the investigation, we'll be updating our website accordingly. Happy to take any questions. question. So the photos of the individuals that uh, we're releasing uh, have been identified by our investigative task force to have some level of involvement. Uh, the 16 individuals all have varying roles and so it's difficult to, to give specifics until those individuals are identified but we want to speak with them uh, directly so we can uh, further the investigation and ascertain their exact involvement. The end goal here is to hold people accountable for the violent clash. And we firmly believe that um, with the individuals we have identified and as we progress this with getting uh, more known facts from those that are in the photos and speaking with them, we very, uh, I, I anticipate that we'll be laying uh, charges. Yeah, good question. Uh, we're going to be led by the evidence in this situation. Uh, where the evidence takes us uh, will be in part of what uh, these individuals have to tell us, in part with the uh, vast array of electronic evidence that we've captured from this violent clash. Uh, but we're looking at all possibilities. Uh, unlawful assembly, riot, causing a disturbance, obstruction, possession of weapon charges, and varying assault varying degrees of assault charges are all possibilities uh, depending on where the evidence takes us. So uh, our, our community resource teams, our diversity teams uh, have uh, been very much engaged with these people. When something like this happens, the victims are just not those directly involved in this clash, exactly to your point. These are local business owners, uh, people that have parked in the areas, neighborhoods uh, that didn't pick either side of this. And so working with them to get their story uh, heard and documented as part of our investigation, and uh, when the evidence allows for it to hold people accountable for that type of damage. Uh, we continue uh, to have open dialogue with the leaders uh, in the Eritrean uh, community on, on both sides of this uh, conflict, uh, hearing more uh, about their individual sides uh, and then sharing our information to build understanding and uh, of the complexities uh, that we're faced with. And uh, what we've heard is, is that uh, they don't tolerate this level of violence either, which is really refreshing and uh, an important message 
message to, to get out for the vast array of this. This is not condoned in, in, in this community. Uh, it's a small group working uh, independently or in small groups that we're looking to hold account for the violence that erupted. So our, our members continue to work with uh, the diversity uh, communities and our community resource officers um, to, to build on those existing relationships. And um, open dialogue remains the, the continued way forward of bringing uh, awareness of um, what we will or will not tolerate when it comes to uh, demonstrations uh, or protests. Uh, but again, this was not a protest. This was individuals set on making violence and uh, property damage uh, here. So the, uh, the, the leaders within the community have been great uh, and, and they're supportive of uh, knowing where uh, we're, we're headed with our investigation and uh, supportive of, of the dialogue uh, as they've been great participants to date. I think it's uh, no matter what community you're, you're talk, talking about, uh, any identifiable uh, community, uh, there's always that risk that um, small groups, outliers will uh, do damage uh, to the reputation of, of people. So uh, they uh, have been clear, I think, in their messaging uh, with, with us that uh, they don't tolerate uh, this as well. And uh, I think that's an important distinction to, to make for people. Uh, varying degrees of, of continued meetings, uh, sharing uh, historical relevance uh, that they've wanted to bring forward, uh, to uh, talking about preparations, uh, and again, like I, 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 I mentioned, just efforts to suppress any retaliation uh, from going forward in, in future events as a result of this. Good question. So uh, you have to appreciate that we're sifting through 600 plus hours of CCTV, body worn camera, uh, other digital evidence that have uh, been brought forward. And no one view captures necessarily the a, a single event. So it really is an investigative uh, puzzle that they're putting together to allow us a, a deeper appreciation of what any of these 16 uh, individuals are responsible for our due diligence, our interest in uh, being led by the evidence says we know that uh, they have information that we now need to ascertain. That's why we're seeking uh, th them to come forward so we can uh, exactly determine what their involvement was. Yeah, the, the good good question. So um, we know that uh, it's a charter right for individuals to come together peacefully, uh, to have their voices heard uh, about whatever their their views uh, are, are are tolerating. Uh, but there's fine lines when it comes to uh, hate speech. It comes you can have opinions. It's how you're sharing those opinions uh, that conflicts uh, like this uh, arise. The best way uh, for people to, to have um, peaceful gatherings, protests in the future, engage us early, engage the, the city early uh, to get the required permits and have that open discussion and uh, be where you say you're going to be so we can dedicate the appropriate measured response uh, at any given time. 